to me say gospel so it is season four right here on life destiny it is your life your destiny and i'm so excited to be in front of your screens as we open this amazing and blessed sabbath and i must say that i am a bit sad because the beautiful lady is always next to me is not here with me this evening and i am going to be riding solo and if you have not liked or followed any of our social media platforms, we are available. It is Instagram, Facebook, as well as Twitter. Get liking, get commenting. We are there for you and to hear what you have to say about the show. 
Today, I'm going to be joined by an amazing gentleman who goes by the name of Utabiso. Who am I looking Actually, his surname is Ashley Umuloyi. And I'm super excited that he's joining us here. He comes all the way from Mekwakwa, but currently is residing in Johannesburg. And boy, oh boy, his story is so inspiring and uplifting. But his music is on another level. And on that note, here is music from Utabiso. Be blessed. Jesus. 
Jesu yona And if you just joined us, you're watching Masim Dumisa Gospel Show right here on Life Destiny. It is your life, your destiny. And I'm sure that you've been blessed just as much as I've been blessed right here in studio with the wonderful, soothing sounds of the one and only Tabi Sowa Maluti. Sir, good evening. Good evening, how are you, sir? I'm good, how are you? Good, my sister. <laughs> I'm great, thank you. Man, I must say, your music is just so beautiful, so soothing, and I can just feel it from within, even though I'm Zulu, okay? okay. But you know, I could hear most of it, and it just touches my soul so, so much. Yeah. It's really amazing. So I want to know, who is Utabi? So where do you come from, and why do you sing what you sing? Um, I was born and raised in the Free State. Um, okay, Utabi okay, so is, is actually a friendly person who loves God. Um, I, cho I chose I chose <laughs> to sing what I sing okay. because um, I think I, I found grace and I found um, Beautiful. like life in this journey of, of believing in God. I love that. I love that. So I know that you're a young man, right? Yeah, you're young. Am I right? That's true. You're young, but you've worked so much. Yeah. And I mean, another person who could be your age probably doesn't even have an album, yeah. but you have got three. Tell us about your very first album that you did at a very young age. What was that all about and how did you actually get to record that? Um, I do, it, was, it was in 2010. Sure. Um, I was still in school. I was doing grade 11. Oh, wow. And, okay, um, I had this friend of mine, a very close friend of mine. Yes. We, we actually, um, during that time, we actually um, enjoyed singing together. Okay. And so we ended up actually deciding that, you know what, um, let's, let's do something about this. Okay. Um, because um, listening to other artists singing, so we, we had that bigger picture of, you know what, we can do it. So then we started recording our first album. And yeah. It, yeah, I actually, we, we, re we released it in while I was still in grade 11 in school. Oh, wow. Yeah, so the support, most of the support, we got it from school. Yes. Yeah, from other students and teachers. So didn't other students, I mean, I'm just thinking of myself, when I was in yeah. high school, you know, luckily I went to a Seventh-day Adventist, you know, okay. um, high school. But when I went out, it's like, oh, you know, this thing of coming across and being young and loving God, yeah. it's not always too appealing to young people. There's drinking alcohol, yeah, everyone is yeah. trying out this new thing. How did your peers accept you for being a person doing God's work? You know, for myself, I can say, um, I, um, by that time, I was also part of them, but the, 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 the presence and the, the love of God was always inside of me. Oh. So even though I, I, I actually oh. um, chose that journey, but deep down I knew that, you know what, I love God and yeah. I have to do something about it. I have to work hard into doing right things. Yeah. So um, I, 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 if I remember very well, we, we, we actually even began to, to inspire others because they nice. loved it. Like they, 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 they didn't actually um, feel, feel like we, we are not welcomed in yes. the environment. They really loved it. Sure. Um, as much as we were still young. Yes. So it was like a wow thing. Yeah. yeah. So earlier on to me, you mentioned that your ministry or singing for God or singing gospel music, yeah. Christian music in particular, is actually a calling. Yeah. Tell us more about that. What story do you come from? What history or background do you come from that actually solidifies that point of you saying that this is yeah. actually a calling that God himself has given to you? You know, um, for, for myself, I can say um, it, it all began while, while um, my mother was still alive. Okay. Um, she, she used to actually inspire me, like call me, like, okay, my child, come sing for me. Oh. And I used to sing, but I didn't know by that time, like, why mm. does she want me to sing? 
So um, it went on, went on, and then after after um, that first album, yeah, I I actually had the challenge after after my matric, um, okay. I I had to stop like a little bit about music, okay, because um we I'm the I'm the oldest um in in the children, yes. like three children, oh, okay. from my mother. I see. So um, I, I then took another journey of trying to find a job and mm, try to make a living. To survive and, yeah, and, and take care of your younger brothers, siblings, yeah. sure. So um, time went by, okay, even where, wherever I was working, I used to work in the construction place and yeah. in shops. Like, But that thing of music was always inside always of there. me. Like Sometimes mm. I, I remember I also, I once got an, a warning like for not actually focusing on my on my on my duties like yeah definitely sure because okay. I, was, I was like sometimes i end up like it's like a dream but okay. I, I should Beautiful. be focused. yeah like i started like singing and this song made 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 me like even cry sure. like when i stopped whatever i was doing and then, just then my boss just came and wow. what are you doing so then that's when i tried to, like started to control it and you know what keep balance like yeah. you know, when i'm at work I have to stop, like, actually exposing that person who is inside. Yes. So it was very hard. So there's this pressing thing, man. Yeah, you, you know, yeah. you get all types of callings. People say they've got a calling to ancestral things. Definitely. But for, for you, you know, you knew that there's nothing like that. Your yeah. calling is what God himself has brought to your yeah. life. And he was like, you will do this ministry financially, Definitely. whether you're okay or not. It is what I have destined for you in this world. Definitely. Which is beautiful. So I want to know from your journey from end of 2016 to 2017, you know, yeah. coming across now, you know, with, with your life and spiritually, when you came across to the Adventist Church, yeah. what lured you to come join the Adventist Church in particular? Okay, um, if, if you may allow me, let me start actually by mentioning 2014. Okay. Um, I was involved in a, in a car accident, Ooh. a very bad one, um, sure. where we had actually a fatal of, of one person. So um, after that, I, I sat down okay. and asked myself that, um, Tabiso, mm. is this the kind of life you want to live? Yes. Like you survived. And God's mercy and grace. Like definitely. Yeah. I, I thanked God, like, you know what, Father, I, 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 want to, I want to work and I want to go all yeah. over for you. Like Ish. tell people, tell, tell young people about of your you. mighty works. Yeah. So um, mm. it is a testimony. Yes, because um, after that, I, I had to try to actually let go of my, my old, old behaviors and mm, former things. Beautiful. It was very hard. Yeah. Um, I'm talking about certain addictions. Yes. Um, time went by. I was involved in, 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 in a lifestyle of smoking, yeah. drinking. Yes. So I started like trying to find a, actually a place where yeah. I, can, I can feel at home. Mm. And I can, I can actually be assisted into sure. letting go of those things. So... Mm -hmm. um, 2016, I, I then met this other guy who helped me to record my second album. Okay. Um, then that's when I started, you know what, I stopped like, following this, this, this life of wanting to go and work because I'm not actually getting enough. Yeah. I don't feel like complete. Yes, I do yes, work, yes. I do get some money, but it is not, it's not actually giving not me happiness. It's not fulfillment, yeah, 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 yeah. So, by the way, when I sing, mm. that's, that's where I feel complete. At your peak. Yeah. So yes. um, I, 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 was, I was actually walking, I remember, um, with this other lady, um, as I have mentioned earlier, that, you know what, um, we passed this, this tent, there was this tent, a white tent on my left-hand side. We passed there, um, we were busy talking, but then as we were busy communicating, hmm. I heard music. Sure. So uh, I'm, I'm like, I shut everything out and mm. just focus. We were, I was working with her, but then I even mentioned to, to her, like, you know what, yeah. when I come back, I want to come in this tent and yeah. actually go in and check what's going on. Yeah. So I came back, when I came back, I'm okay, I got a welcome that is very warm. And okay, I got inside and these people were, were new, like I, yeah. it, actually most of them were the people that I know. Yes. But according to everything that was done in there, it was everything new. Ish. Like, I, like I a new you. Reborn like, in a like way, definitely. Like it, beautiful. It's, ah, love that. It's like you know. Um, ah. I, I then started like sitting down and listening to music because like what caught ah. me was music. Yes. So there was this song that was actually um being sang that when, when I passed like um. What was it? Sing it. Ten seconds. <laughs> Sing it quickly. Let me hear. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now just so we are shoko mela. Ah. Haki sorela pinachi. Yes. Kilibu tate. Ah. So um oh, okay, nice. let me say that song it's it's actually my, my version. Okay from, from, from my album. Yes. Um it is it is um Christine's song number two and four. 
So the message just actually spoke direct Ish with me you. because I've been I've been going up and down, mm. like trying to to find this this peace like mm. within me. Like you know what, Father, I, I have to be to be good in front of your eyes. Ish. But then I Love failed. It. I failed so many many times. Mm. But I kept on getting up. You know what, Father, mm. I'll try again. Mm. So that song made like brought sense to me. Like it 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 gave me courage. That yeah. you know what. Jesus cares. Yes, indeed. And then I started like feeling like you know what? There is no need for for me to worry. I'm still young, mm. and I'm I'm still gonna be faced with challenges. Yes. So he is always there, and he cares. Yes. Yes. That's I like, love that's it. how. That's how. Actually, oh man. Um, Oh man, Make thank you so just, much. Definitely. Oh, Tabiso, that was beautiful. Definitely. Again, well again. That was Utabi saw himself. Man, what an inspiring story. I must say that I've been touched to sitting right here. And it's just a reminder to all of us at home watching that in our journey that there's nothing, nothing at all that can complete you but God himself. And if you want to be complete, do find time with God and worship him in everything. Up next here is Tabiso blessing us more with some great music. Be blessed. Mokimoni, Mupilombo Nabaka, Kaniti Yatume, Hale, Kila Kila Sheile, Ampisela, Kali Ratula, Unsa Maisa Mahulonga Majala. Kisali munge nyani Dilimo ajwali Kipila kinali khoto Moye ngona waka Kapaka la muhau Ane ile ona Ajamela Uto ita tweta Kiri munati wu Waho tsama ya limoti mo Atamela Uvise baba Bato zota mo hau Ote mimoti mo Atamela Uto ita tsweza Kiri munati wo Waho tsama ya limoti mo Atamela, uvise baba Bato zota mohavu, ote mumotimo Motimo, motimo, motimo Ampepa, 
on se paye Hey ya, et qui m'a dit, m'a dit, m'a dit, m'a dit, m'a dit, a a fait tout, qui m'a dit, m'a dit, on fait sa bouche au go. Hey ya, qui m'a dit, 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 on fait sa bouche au go. Yeah, qui m'a dit, m'a dit, m'a dit, m'a dit, m'a dit, Modi mo, ki modi mo ani modi, o feli sabuluna. Eh ya, ki modi 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 modi, modi mo, ki modi mo ani modi, o feli sabuluku. Eh ya, ki modi 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 modi, modi mo. Qui m'a dit moi ni ti, y'a na a a fait tout. Ndate arriba ti chadi mo ya ma show. Rila casa, uba bara tuwa fasi osa. Risi kera fait tout ha, tira ta ha, uba ni khalifo ya ha. Ega 
chesu Christ wango bugu fayana Nesi busi so sigan kulun kul emazulini wango bugu injabulo ika chesu Christ wango bugu fa Ninja bulo yi ka Jesu Kristu ema sulwi ni zihamba nami isho yizi busi so ziyanglande zase ma sulwi ni zubu zonke Ninja bulo yi ka Jesu Kristu yesi pambande ni zihamba nami isho yizi busi so ziyanglande Sema sulini Tuguzo Kisho Injabulo Ika Jesu Kristu Yesi Pamandeni Wangobu Injabulo Iga soma Anja Iona Nyamlande Luchesu Nyamlande Au Nyamlande Luchesu Nyamlande Yam lande, luce su yam lande, la yam lande, luce su. Au yam lande, luce su yam lande, yam lande, luce su yam lande. Au yam lande, luce su yam lande, la yam lande, la pina. Au yam lande, luce su yam lande. Aungam lande, luce su ngam lande Aungam lande, luce su ngam lande La, ngam lande, luce su Aungam lande, luce su ngam lande La, ngam lande, luce su ngam lande La, aungam lande, la mina La pesho kona Zonke Beautiful, what a beautiful item indeed from Utabi Sowamulu to himself. I must say, this gentleman is touching my soul deep down. But I also want to jump again into conversation with you because, wow, it's been so amazing. Yeah. Tabi, so tell me something. I know that this year yes. you did one of the greatest launches of all time yeah. and you decided to go back home. Yeah. First of all, why did you decide to go back to Free State? Because right now you're currently residing in Johannesburg. Yeah. Why not do it here? Because you're thinking, you know, the numbers and everything. Why did you go back home to do this launch? Um, okay, um, the reason why I went back home is because um, I've, I've, I've always wanted to, to actually set an example, a okay. good example to young people. Love that. Um, from a place where I come from um, in Kwakwa, it's in the Free State. Yes. That area is actually um, a developing area. But many, in many cases, young people are exposed in, in, in bad things. Okay. Like, so um, I, I just wanted to actually go back there because I've, I've seen that there is no one like, around who is actually playing that role yeah. of, of, of a young person yes. and calling them to God. Yes. So I just actually offered myself, like, you know what, let me go and, and tell them that, you know what, with God, we can make it. With God, everything is possible. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the reason. I went only for, for the inspiration. Yes. And, and more especially for the young people because they learn even from us. Yeah. Those ones who are still coming, like, yes. they, they see us doing things and they want to do them. So yeah. either we do the right things or bad things, they're going to fall. They're going to look. They're watching. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's actually setting an example for myself. Yeah. yeah. So I like that. So it's, it's beyond just the spiritual or the spirituality of it, but it's actually just setting an example. Definitely. I went to Joburg to learn something, yeah. but I'm not going to leave my community behind. Yeah, they also need the Lord just as much. Definitely. And obviously I'm guessing you invited people that are not just from the church or that are Christian. Yes, yes. And why do you think that's important that you should open up your music to a, war, a, a broad spectrum of young people? You know, um, as an Adventist, I, I've, I've learned something and... Um, I thank the Lord for the guidance that He yeah. gave me. Um, I've seen that we, we, we know we know B 
big things, we know deep things yes. here in, 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 in our in our journey. Yeah. So the people out from the outside, they, they just see us as, as Adventists. Yeah. And some of them I've had like they they, they, they think like we we think we are better. Yes. They they, they Yeah, say no, it's a true perception. Yeah, like, it's yeah, true. So it's, yeah. it's, it's 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 not like that. Yeah. Um. From my community, I've I've mm. I've I've exposed myself. Like yeah. I'm not even ashamed to tell them. You know what? Mm. I am an Adventist. Yes, and I'm and proud. De definitely. Yeah. So um, going back and inviting them, I think it's an opportunity of people knowing like the right the right way of worshiping God. Yes. Like we, I I, I didn't go there to tell them that you know what, mm. um, stop whatever that you're doing. I, I was just there to show them. Yeah. Yes. That on this side, this is how things are done. Yes. As much as I, I can say, like I've invited even also the a cappella groups from from that side nice. from our church. So some of them, um, the, the 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 what you call them, the supporters. They some of them called and questioned me. Like we had this group singing. Yeah. Um, where, like what type of music is that? Then I started to actually right. tell them, like, listen, um, this is how you listen to music. You don't listen to Tabi Somoloi because my voice sounds so nice. Yes. You listen to the message. That's, it. That's how you get it. Like you, the, the reason why maybe some people don't actually end up coming maybe to our church is because maybe they, they are used to a certain type of music. Yes. Because they are only actually, actually focusing on, on the instrumental parts mm. and the nice voices. Mm. They, but they forget to listen the to words, the, mess, the, way, the message. The message. I love that. I love that. So I know that you are very active on social media yeah. because that's how I even saw about your launch and how great yeah. it really was. Why do you think this is a great platform to market yourself in this day and age, especially as a young person? And how has that helped you grow? Yeah, um, it is a great platform. Yeah. More, more especially because young people Baby. are found. Yes. In it. So um, I saw as uh, I saw it as an opportunity to say, you know what? Um, because. This is where they actually gather. Yeah. Let me come inside yes. them and actually ah, add something, add some spice, add something yes. that is that is going to actually uplift them. Because not everyone in social media is happy. Yes. Most people are very, uh, very depressed. And, and there's mental health issues amongst young people, especially in 2019. Yeah. So yeah. even for myself, I think it's, it's, it's still going to be actually a, a sort of a magnet because people okay. will want to know. Who is this guy yes. coming to me and finding out, okay, it's Tabiso, and where does he come from? So that's where they're going to even find out, okay, he is an Adventist, because some of them, they are actually in different areas. Lovely. So, yeah, like, it's, 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 it's very it's interesting, good. definitely, yeah. and it's helping. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. So, Sabi, so before I close, I just want to know, where to from here? You've got three amazing albums. Yeah. Okay, well, the one, you're still young, and no one really knows yeah. too much about <laughs> it. Do you even say so yourself? Yeah, really but, you know, you've got two amazing albums. You've done a really great launch for yourself this year, yeah. you know, and wish you, and I, I'm, I don't know how you've been sponsoring it and, you know, for yourself, but yeah. where to from here, and how and how do you think you can find funding, should you need funding to grow further? Yeah, um, okay, let me first, like, start by saying, um, Okay, thank a big thank you to all who those who, who supported actually um my ministry like yeah. through music. So um for my for my albums I can say um what 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 I'm focusing on is is, is actually still young people, more especially the nice. ones who are still growing, okay. the young ones. Um, I was I was actually given this this in, this inspiration and this motivation by one of the crannies from our church. Okay. Yeah. Um. He she was she was like um concerned like Tabiso. Can't you see that um, mm. young, like these children, the young children, nobody says anything about them. Yes. So for myself, I think I enjoy being called um, Abuti Tabiso oh. by them. Yeah. <laughs> so, Abuti. Yeah. So um, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually aiming into, into actually um, distributing my music all over, nice. getting enough support. Yeah. So that you know what, um, in, 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 a f in future, I can be able to, to actually. Um, build something for, for young people. Yes. Something that beautiful. will actually keep them in the Lord. Something yes. that will actually like fund whatever whatever organization that actually involves children. Mm. Yeah, I think that's so that's, that's that's how I want it. And for yeah. for myself I'm getting help like from, from different people it, it it can be actually helpful. Yes. Because um so far like I said like the music that I've been like doing, the albums that I've been recording, I didn't pay anything. Oh, the Lord has been the there Lord. for me. Like, so 
Nice. I, I think I don't have to be too too harsh to anyone. Yes. Like to say, you know what? No, because you don't buy this music, you are not going to get it. Yes. Um. So I'm I'm just I'm just like you know what? Let's let's just support the ministry. Yes. And um, make sure Beautiful. that you know what it reaches people because mm. what is more important is is telling people about God. And Indeed. letting them know that you know what we can be saved while yes. there is still time yes. right now. Yeah. yeah, I know time is running out, and we just all relaxed as Christians because we're like, oh, Jesus has been coming. Definitely. But at the end of the day, he is. Yeah, and and, he is and the blood of those that we do not share the message with him will be on our hands. And another thing, the signs. Yes, of the time. Like, Mm. What what else do we what would we want? What else are we waiting for? Yeah, like we have to actually focus on on, on actually reaching out because Indeed. I think, the, like you said, like the blood of mm. of those we didn't actually even tell. Because sometimes we spend time talking to people and telling them things that are not actually yeah. in 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 this in this in this life. We tell them about things that are not going to even benefit them. So I think the best thing that we can do is is, is actually helping yeah. young people. I'm also even nice. also um saying this because myself, I get many young people who are willing to join like this ministry. Yeah. And somehow it's, it, it, it's very difficult when I know that I'm not financially stable. Yes, I keep yeah. them like, okay, wait for me, I'll come back. Mm. And it's a risk because some of them, they end up actually yes, giving up. Yeah. Rather than if maybe I knew that, you know what, I've got a, actually um, a sort of a way when somebody is interested, I know I, I have a way of calling them yeah. and saying, you know what, in the meantime, stay here. Yeah. And like, go to my church and know yeah. something, meet people. Like, that, that's how I yeah. think actually things can go. All right. Oh, Toby, so thank you so much. And I love your passion for young people. You know, I love the peer to peer thing because yeah. there's nothing that people learn better from from another young person when you are a young person. Yeah. May God continue to bless you in your ministry. And man, stay you, man. Yeah, stay thank amazing. Yeah, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, that is Tabi so himself. I must say, this man is truly, truly inspiring. We've heard some music from him. We've listened to his journey and where he's going. And we surely are going to hear some music from him later on. But right now, I want to just say here, is the word let's live by it be blessed maranata go si jesu buya marana 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 Marana, <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 Camisa tu pulo Tu pulo Eli Kira tu pulo Tu pulo Kiwana Au tu pulo Tabisite Kapili Hau se upetile Kitaya Dina Umure na kivine Tupulo ye Na Tupulo 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 ye Na
how to pull, 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 to pull show which I also think that it could be one of my favorite parts of the show and that is poetry you know how it is words have the power to uplift your soul and poetry is going to be following shortly after this but before we can jump into poetry and give you words of wisdom I just would like to say that Masim Dumisa loves you so much and wants you to attend amazing events near you and that is the gig guide so keep your eyes glued onto the screen to see what is happening No falter. I'm Lindy, short and short-sighted. Too short to reach for the stars and too short-sighted to see beyond my shortcomings. Most days I find myself in a downward spiral. One, one day. It's a phrase I use to justify my procrastination. Three, mental, physical, spiritual, this tripartitism, total disunity, I know what to do. I know how to do it, but my hands and feet just never seem to cooperate. Five, 
When I was five, I almost died. And I've been trying to discover my purpose ever since. Seven, when I was seven, my self-esteem was shattered. It lay there in a desolate ruin, more like the aftermath of the Hiroshima bombing. Demeaning remarks fired from their mouths like missiles. And their actions only served as a consolidation of the atrocity. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Quite odd, isn't it? So twelve. Someone had to make it even. I met the one who speaks peace over storms, sets at ease the tormented heart, blots out my sin in whole, not in part, gives me a purpose and a destiny. You see, the reason the demeaning remarks had such an impact on me is because I allowed my value to hinge on people's approval. Instead of Hugh, after creating men, declared, it is very good. So what gives you your worth? Is it your Snapchat filters or glamour letters that give you your worth? Is it your robust physique or your slim fit too, too slim to fit God in it? See, we've been straying and wandering away, thinking we could have our own way, thinking we could find our worth in worthless things. You're worth more than a hundred Facebook likes, more than a thousand Twitter followers. See, you're so valuable that God had to trade his riches for rags so that instead of rags, you might have riches. <music> What an amazing, uplifting, and more than anything, an inspiring show. I must say that Utabi so man has just touched my heart. His story is so uplifting, and I really do hope that God will continue to bless him. Tabiso, thank you so much for joining us. And of course, to you, our lovely guests at home, I must say, you have been so amazing. We love you so much, and may God continue to bless you in the Sabbath as well as the week that is ahead. And don't forget that we are available on different social media platforms. That is Instagram, Twitter, as well as Facebook. Facebook, simply at Masim Tumisa Gospel Show. And I would like to see your comments and let us know what do you really think about season four of Masim Tumise. I want to say much love. God bless you. And it's been really great being in front of your screens. Good night. Hey. Ah.
nga hai Mi kia tiba Una lina Utava lina E kadina kotoche Kire chesu yona Umuli Kia muteba Cardinal Cotoche.